I'm Samuel Wood, um, father of two. I'm carpenter, um, make furniture, lighting, anything to do with wood. I started doing woodwork with my dad. Um, probably earliest was with my uncle Peter. He'd make us wooden toys and little boxes for us. Um, and I got into it back then really. Um, so probably 30 odd years ago, I started getting into woodworking, um, but more seriously recently. When I was at school, um, I did woodworking, but for my GCSEs, I actually took engineering, um, which actually comes into woodworking now because it's such fine tolerances. Um, so yeah, I took it at school and then carried it on as a hobby later in life. The first thing I made um, was actually a baseball bat. And actually I've got it here in the shed, um, or in the workshop. Uh, made it back in 93, I think. Um, me and my dad made it, and a piece of ash on a Sunday afternoon. I try and do all my woodworking in a traditional way. Um, you need to use modern machinery in the workshop just for production purposes, um, but most of the woodworking joints that I do are all hand cut as much as I can. Um, you know, all the steam bending is all hand done, um, all the shaping for the lights, that's all hand shaped with spoke shaves and rasps. Um, so the woodworking that I want to do is more hand orientated rather than production orientated, just because that's how I personally feel it should be. My current range of products quite varied at the moment. Um, they vary from kitchen units, um, freestanding kitchen units, um, painted and traditional, um, to I've made quite a few oak doors for people, um, to curved lighting. If it's interesting and exciting to make, then I'll make it. Um, I like a challenge. Um, I've got a bespoke tree house to make for somebody, um, which is completely different to what I've done before. I just sit down with pencil, a bit of paper, um, and just draw things out. Um, trial and error, come in the workshop, bend a few pieces of materials and see where I can go. Um, see what's physically possible with a piece of timber. If there's a local tree that may have gone down locally here, I'll get it felled and then planked up and I'll dry it. Um, all my brought in timber is um, from South Devon and that's all locally sourced or it's sourced from um, FSE certified um, trade people. Um, I try and buy everything as much as I can from North Devon or in Devon general um, to try and cut down the carbon footprint. Um, and how far that Tim has to travel. Come on, George. Come on, George. Come on, then. Come on. Oh, we'll go out, Rita.